Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. Chosen one, empath. Your spiritual awakening is part of the reason why the narcissist disappeared out of your life. Let's say you were discarded, for example, in the most brutal fashion. You've got to understand that there was a shift in your consciousness. There was a shift in the way that you started to deal with the situation. There was an absolute shift. And the narcissist that was involved in your life picked up on these subtle cues in your body language, in the way you interacted with them, and they realised that you woke up. You see, for a long time, they bared witness to you being in a deep sleep. They knew you were in a deep sleep. They knew they didn't deserve you. They know, They knew they didn't deserve you. And they knew the only reason why they had you in their life, for whatever type of relationship this is, romantic, friendship, family member, associate or colleague, they knew the only reason they had you in their life, right, was because you was asleep to the abuse. And through a divine orchestration sent by the Most High God, sent by the universe, this initiated your awakening. This was the birth of your awakening. You began to witness them and look at them and you changed. And the change happens before you even consciously grasp it. Before you even consciously grasp and understand where you're at in your mind. Because you are a victim of abuse. You've been put through endless amounts of abuse, endless amounts of pain. But it was just on one given day, they saw this dynamics changing. They saw it shift and they saw their world slowly crumbling around them because they realized, oh, geez, this empath has woken up. This empath is awake now, right? You've broken the spell that you were under and you awoke. Now, when this happens, the narcissist will jump into action and they may discard you, reverse discard you, and they may disappear out of your life. So a lot of you chosen ones and empaths that may find yourself struggling or may still be in pain from the discard or the reverse discard and you couldn't believe that you saw this unmasking. The unmasking happened. One, because they can't control the unmasking. And two, it's because they witnessed you wake up, right? There was always telltale signs of chinks in the, in, in the mask. You know, there was always signs of it. If you look back in retrospect now, if you analyze your situation that you was involved in with this narcissist involved in your life and you analyze the situation, you probably bear witness to many times when you saw chinks in the mask and you saw the mask slip. But at the time when you was asleep, you wasn't bearing witness to it. You didn't see it. But once they realize that you have woken up, they, 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 they were gone. They were gone in an instant, Right. They had to disappear out of your life. They don't want to be around an awakened chosen one or an awakened empath. Narcissists do not want to be around an awakened chosen one or an awakened empath because it's actually, it won't work anymore. None of their manipulation will work, right? So they head for the exit door. They, they, they go for the exit. And... They tried to escalate, um, you know, you could have got into a disagreement with the narcissist that was involved in your life, right? And they saw you starting to wake up. They saw your eyes open. Even though your eyes were open the whole time, they saw your eyes open and see reality.
for the first time. And they realized that they need to get the hell away from you. Because they know if they stay around you, right? Say they stayed around you. You're going to get more and more conscious. The spiritual awakening is not a joke. And the empath knows it's no, no laughing matter. It's no joke to be messed with. Please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It will take two seconds of your time. Thank you. So they see this shift in your consciousness. They see you wake up. And they know there's nothing they can do to stop this now. There's nothing they can do. You're not going to be the same abuse victim that used to just take abuse, take devaluation, right? And oftentimes when the narcissist does exit the relationship and they do disappear, they often do it in, in the way of acting like a victim. This narcissist that was involved in your life might start playing the victim. They may, um, like I said in the earlier segment, you got in a disagreement with them. Say you got in a disagreement with them and you woke up. Um, they may start using reactive abuse. Like, oh, why are you speaking to me like that? Oh, and then they start escalating the situation and say, we're done, we're over. Like, I don't want to be around you anymore. And they start saying they don't want to be around you, right? They start saying they don't want to be around you or they, they just go for the exit door and disappear and ghost you. And you're, and you're left scratching your head. But what's actually happening through this process is you're, you're gaining more and more consciousness and you're, you're finally, you finally awoken. But there's still some stages you need to ascend to. But they try to mix up your, your mind by throwing a spanner in the works and uh, immediately discarding you and immediately ghosting you or immediately exiting your life. To try and confuse you. And they're trying to confuse you. So you don't know what direction you're in. So the awakened empath might start, for example, involved in your life. The awakened empath, the narcissist that was involved in your life. You being the awakened empath might start trying to reconcile with the narcissist. You might start trying to reach out to them and start saying like, well, what's going on? Let's sort this out. Like, Let's deal with this like adults. And they don't want to hear you. They don't want to come and speak to you, have a sit down, have a coffee or a tea, sit down and have a chat and talk things through like how adults would do. They don't want to do that. They just want to disappear. And this can happen in friendships. This can happen in romantic partners. This can happen in associates, colleagues, family members. They will just literally jump out of your life and they make out that you're to blame. And you're left scratching your head, wondering why. Chosen one, empath, you've done the hardest part. You woke up. They could have been around you for decades. They could have been around you for decades. You know, they could have had you entrapped in this entrapment for decades. And it just happened on this one given day through the divinely orchestrated blessings sent by the most high God of the universe, however you want to look at it, that shifted your consciousness, that caused you to awaken from your deep sleep. And yes, you were a little off balance. Yes, you didn't know where you was exactly when you first woke up. You didn't even realize you woke up, but they saw it in your eyes. They saw you look at them differently. They saw you respond to them differently and they got scared. Not because you're going to lash out, not because you're going to attack them. Just they fear your consciousness. They fear your ability to be so conscious of the real reality of the narcissist. They know you'll see through what they are now. They know the mask doesn't work any longer, right? They know the mask doesn't work any longer. So these narcissists will disappear. So don't be upset. Don't be distraught. If you've been discarded or someone that was involved in your life, whether it was a friend, a family member, associate, colleague, romantic partner, disappeared from your life, ghosted you, alienated you, 
gave you silent treatment and disappeared and didn't want to work things through, it's because they bared witness to you waking up. That's the reason they didn't want to work things through. They they knew they can't work things through with an awakened chosen one and an awakened empath. Narcissists avoid awakened chosen ones and the empaths like the plague. They avoid awakened chosen ones. They don't want awakened chosen ones. They prey on asleep empaths. They prey on asleep chosen ones. That's what they prey on. They don't want an awakened one. Because an awakened one will be able to basically um, block any manipulation. They'll be able to block all of the devaluation. And, the, and, and also the awakened empath will mirror us to such high degrees that the narcissist feels uncomfortable being in your presence because you're mirroring back to them exactly what they are. So just understand, right, the meaning of this message that if anyone has exited your life, left you in the lurch, discarded you, <clears throat> ghosted you, given you silent treatment, whatever, it's actually because they saw you wake up. And they're running scared now. They don't want to be around you. Do not blame yourself. Do not be upset. Do not think there's anything wrong with you. It's just you woke up to the abuse. You're here now on this channel and other channels alike. You're educating yourself. This is because you're well on the road to recovery and healing. And working on and building up your knowledge that all stemmed from this birth of this awakening that happened on that given day when they saw it in your eyes and they realized you're not to be messed with no longer you won't be manipulated no longer you won't be devalued no longer you won't be gaslit no longer and they realized this this narcissist that was involved in your life realized that you woke up so anyway thank you for watching today please press the like and the subscribe button if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you'd like a one-to-one -one session myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I've got the secondary channel, the spiritual channel. Enhance your experience by becoming a supporting member. Gain access to unseen videos and video requests. Three-day free trial by visiting zionmembership.com. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.